Continuing coverage on the Orlando nightclub shooting. In the wake of the tragedy, some gun, gun stores across the country, they are reporting a spike in the sale of semi-automatic weapons. Yeah, stocks of some gun makers are up as well. And ABC Action News reporter Adam Weiner talks to a local gun shop owner about what drives up sales after a shooting, especially the weapon used in that attack in Orlando this last weekend. I'm particularly interested about three pieces of legislation some members of Congress are trying to bring back a ban on what they call assault rifles, like the kind used in the recent shooting in Orlando. Today, Speaker Paul Ryan gaveled it down. And filed in response the gentleman's not to sitting Charleston. in parliamentary. This latest attempt to bring back a ban on some kinds of semi-automatic weapons has led to many Americans visiting their local gun shop. Some buyers concerned they may not be able to buy these rifles in the future if laws change. Well, look what happened when Twinkies stopped. Everybody went out and bought armfuls of Twinkies because I'm never going to get them again. Fred Fleshy says his store shooting sports on Northdale Mabry has not seen a rise in rifle purchases so far this week. But he says the AR-15 is popular because it's very similar to the kind used in the Army. A lot of folks that have had experience in the service, when they come out, they're familiar with this. They're familiar how to take it apart, how to clean it, how to maintain it. So it becomes kind of a, like a, uh, somebody you're used to. The AR-15 in particular, he says, is good for target practice because it doesn't need to be reloaded as often. But that's precisely why Florida Congresswoman from Orlando, Corrine Brown, wants high magazine weapons banned again. We've got to make it a campaign issue. We have elections coming up. People got to get involved. But Fred believes banning weapons won't make people safer and only limits his right to choose. I can relate it where some people have a red convertible and other people have a black sedan. Well, what's the difference? Just personal, personal preference. In Tampa, Adam Weiner, ABC Action News.